Whenever two components in React are rendered in the same place, React automatically tries to maintain the state between them. This can be a problem. For example, let's say we have a user profile page, which keeps some state like a list of the blog posts of this user that it loaded from a backend. Now the problem is, if we navigate to a different user profile, we still render the same component in the same place, the state is maintained, and now even though we are on a different URL, we still see the profile of the previous user. Again, this happens because we are viewing still the same component and React tries to maintain the state of this component, like for example the user that is loaded into use state, or the current pagination state. Now the suboptimal way of handling this is to add a bunch of use effects into our components that reset the state manually whenever the user ID changes, for example, resetting the page to zero. But this approach is actually discouraged in the React documentation because it's inefficient and causes unnecessary re-renders, but it's also difficult to manage because we have to remember to reset the state in different places for different values we care about. Instead, the correct way of resetting the state of this component is to get rid of these resetter use effects and instead add a wrapper around our existing component and add the user ID as a key. This key signals to React that whenever this key changes, we have to render a completely different component and throw away all the state that's currently held inside this component. And now if we navigate to a profile of a different user, all the state is reset and we see the correct profile data, pages, and so on. 